Hello, good evening, and welcome to Lima Senior High School, where tonight on WOSN we'll bring you a Three Rivers Athletic Conference matchup between the visiting Finley Trojans and the homestanding Lima Senior Spartans. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Nate Garlock, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Senior High. And Nate, uh, a fun rivalry between these two squads and, and two pretty good basketball teams as well. Yeah, absolutely. It should be a great night. You know, these two right now in the track, going to be the last year for conference play, but this rivalry will live on. Both these teams, very competitive. It always means a little bit more when they play each other. It should be a great game. It absolutely should. And as we get closer and closer to tip off, let's take a look at those keys to the game, Nate. And first, what stands out for the Finley Trojans that they've got to accomplish tonight to grab a W? So for Finley, it may sound simple, but they need to keep the ball in front of them. That's a much easier task said than done against Lima Senior. They're a very fast team. They do a lot of things very well, but if you can keep them in front of them and not let them have the angles, you can cut off those drives, which they love to do, and try to slow down that offense. Secondly, they need to limit possessions to one and done. You know, Lima Senior, they like to come down there. They're very athletic. They can give themselves second, third, and fourth opportunities, but Finley should have a little bit of a height advantage. They need to use that tonight and try to limit those possessions. And then finally, they got to take care of the ball. We know that the on-ball pressure that Lima Senior will bring tonight, Finley has to uh, limit those turnovers and not allow, not allow themselves to have a lot of empty possessions. And then for Lima Senior, it's been a tale of kind of two teams. They've exploded offensively, they've struggled offensively. What about the Spartans? What do they need to do? Well, first and foremost, they got to find that offense. And more importantly, find consistent offense. You know, a couple of games ago, they had a year low score of just 32 points. They've started to kind of come back up, scored in the 62 games ago. Fremont Ross earlier this week, they were back over 70. But that consistency is going to be key, and they need to get out to a good start tonight to find that. And they need to turn defense into offense. It's one of the things that they do best. They like to press you up and down the floor. They like to get those turnovers. They like to get easy layups. They need to do that tonight. And finally, take what Finley gives them. Don't try to do too much tonight. Get off to a good start. You know, if Finley wants to try to dictate things instead of Lima Senior trying to force the issue, go ahead and go with it and then turn their mistakes back into positives. You know, Nate, they say opposites attract, and we don't get more opposite than Finley and Lima Senior. You've got fast pace versus deliberate. You've got Spartans versus Trojans. You've got red and scarlet and gray versus blue and gold. And you got it coming up next here on WOSN. We're back here at Senior High getting set for this Three Rivers Athletic Conference matchup between Finley and Lima Senior tonight on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Time to take a look at tonight's starting lineups after we get a further introduced to the Finley Trojans. Nine and three, head coach Jim Rookie in his 23rd season, over 500 victories as the head coach at Finley and also at Rocky River High School up near Cleveland. And the starters tonight for Finley, Will Cordonier will anchor things down low. He'll be surrounded by Ryan Montgomery, a six foot three sophomore, a highly sought after quarterback recruit on the gridiron. Luke Weirau, Jake Bishop, and Sam Ernst also in the starting five tonight for the Finley Trojans in their visiting blue uniforms. And then for Lima Senior, when you take a look at them, five and three, three and three in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. And for Quincy Simpson in his ninth season, his starting lineup tonight looks like this. Brandon Moore, Jaquel Cotton, Amari Addy, and Amarion Glenn interjected into the starting lineup tonight. And Anthony Mosley will anchor things down low. The six foot four senior, 13 points, nine rebounds per contest for Lima Senior. So we got our officials here. You see Joseph Allen, Mark Fralick, and Jeff Ressler Going to have a great officiating crew tonight for this big-time matchup here in Lima for this Three Rivers Athletic Conference matchup. And, Nate, when you take a look, we mentioned in the keys to the game, we're going to see contrasting styles, so to speak, and, and it's almost going to be a game of who can get the other to play the way we want them to play. Yeah, and I think that's why the beginning is uh, – beginning of this game is going to be so important because that tone is going to get set, and, and that's going to go a long way determining how this game is going to go. So we've got – Everybody squared away, and we're set for tip-off. We mentioned also earlier 
if this is the final season of the Three Rivers Athletic Conference, the final year that these two squads, at least for the time being, will be in the same conference where Lima Senior will join the Toledo City League and Finley moving to the Northern Lakes League. But they are going to continue to play one another. In football, they've got games scheduled. In basketball, it's, and I think it's a good matchup for both sides, even if it is a non-conference game. Yeah, and it's a long-time rival. They go way back even when they you know, uh, haven't always been conference opponents. This has been a game that has been on the schedule for most sports. Um, you know, but obviously mainly basketball and football, this rivalry is, is big as we get underway. Tip off one by Anthony Mosley. So senior high will begin with the basketball as Brandon Moore will walk it across the timeline and throw up ahead to Kel Cotton. Moore directs the offense, everybody to one side of the floor. He'll spin, throw up a floater. No, the putback by Mosley, though, is up and good. And he gets senior high on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard first. And a great follow by Anthony Mosley, just knowing where his teammate was going to go, getting comfortable in there. And if you don't mark up with these Lima Senior Spartans on defense, they do a, such a great job of crashing and getting to the board. That's what they get those second and third opportunities. We talked about it in our pregame. Finley's really got to try to limit those tonight. Ernst a corner three for the first shot for Finley's up and good. And that's a great answer. You know, Lima Senior comes down as they were able to dictate what they wanted to do in the lane, but quickly Ernst comes back and puts Finley on top one. Three from Jaquel Cotton off the mark. Ernst averages just two and a half points a contest, so 40 seconds into the game, he's already at a season average. Lyra will hand off the high left point to Ernst. He'll work against Amari Addy, the 6 5 11 freshman. The lob down low to Cordon. Your will the Trojans. It goes out of bounds off his fingertips, and you see that pressure defense working to senior high's advantage here early in this first quarter. Yeah, you're mainly going to see man to man defense out of the Spartans um, all night long. They love to play it. That is what Coach Simpson gets after these guys to do. They spend all offseason working on their conditioning. Because when they get into the season and they start getting into, you know, kind of the, the depths of it as we're now, in, you know, reaching about the midpoint here of January, you know, when other teams are getting tired, he wants his team to be getting better. Brandon Moore turns the corner, kicks into the far corner for a three off the mark from Cotton. Long rebound leads to a two-on-one for the Trojans. To the window, shot from Bishop, and he's called for the charge. And that was a great job by the freshman, Amari Addy. Got down quickly, didn't try to do anything fancy, just got himself in the lane, got his feet set, did a nice job of taking that charge. Take a look at the Union Bank instant replay there, and you see Addy got into position and got ran over there by Bishop. And that's the first foul committed by either squad. 3-2 to two the score. Lima Senior looking to take the lead. They'll hand off to Mosley. He'll bring it around. Give it that far corner to Glenn. Cotton at the top of the key, missed a three early, or a rise and fire from the left elbow. That one's silky smooth for the sophomore. A nice decision by Cotton. Did the head fake, thought about taking that long range, but got himself into a better position on the floor where he was more comfortable, and you saw why. Spartans pick up full court. As Ernst, or excuse me, Bishop across the timeline. Between the circles, hands off to Wyrow. Bounces to Montgomery. Tries to get Cordonier to come. Instead, we'll hand off the Y route. Tightly pressured at the midcourt stripe. Trying to get rid of it. Ball's loose, and it's scooped up by Glenn. Cotton wanted the ball in transition. Glenn gets it back for a wide open corner three. And Amarion Glenn is on the scoreboard. And great ball movement. Started off with turning that defense into offense, getting that turnover. But then the unselfish play, getting themselves the extra pass, not trying to force anything. And Glenn ended up with a wide open look at three. Ernst's corner three once more. Off the mark. Rebound still loose as Cordonier grapples with Mosley. Ball still goes, still in bounds. Went off the back of Luke Wyrow's heel. Kicked himself, kicked it to himself. And a ball goes out of play off of a Spartan. It'll stay with Finley. Trojan's lucky to retain possession here. Yeah, it was a good hustle play, though, by Addy get, getting on the floor, trying to get after it, trying to keep it safe. And just a little bit out of bounds as he hit the floor. is going to keep it with Finley. Bishop the long inbound into the backcourt to Ernst. You see Addy. Still tightly guarding him in the backcourt. Bring it across the timeline and the 10 second count. Spartans pressuring every inch of the floor. As Bishop will hold it inside the center circle, one foot in, one foot out. So Marion Glenn comes out to guard him. Hand off to Ernst. Bounces to Montgomery, looks for the bullet pass, instead holds himself. 4.40 to go in this opening quarter. There's a corner three from Wyrow's on the way off the heel of the rim. Addy the rebound for the Spartans. They'll push the tempo quickly. Cotton thought about the transition three. Brandon Moore 
directs the traffic. Wants to be isolated one more time. Adding it to left wing. Gets to the window, off the window and down, and Amari Addy has his first bucket of the year. That is the fourth Spartan to score here in this first quarter. Amari Addy, just a freshman, has been in the starting lineup since day one. Deep three there from Bishop but off the mark. But Addy, he's had some growing pains, as you would expect out of some freshmen. You know, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to have freshman-type days. He's had to sit down at times. Coach Q's had to be hard on him. But you can tell Amari Addy's just getting better every time he hits the floor. And when he it all comes together with him, whether that's this year, next year, the year after, he's going to be a special player. Got a timeout on the floor. 9-3 the score. We'll step aside, come back with more first quarter action here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsored by Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. A 9-3 advantage for Lima Senior over Finley. Trojans with the basketball out of the timeout. As Jake Bishop looks to inbound. He gets it deep into the backcourt to Ernst. And once more, Mariani will come chase him. Spartans not giving up an inch defensively. As Finley, Luke Wyrow, and a foul called against Brandon Moore. See some, fresh, some frustration down low by Brandon Moore. He got wrapped up down low, didn't think he was doing anything, just didn't want to give up his space. And the contact that was being made, the officials determined were, you know, uh, on him. And then a foul committed by Finley on the inbound attempt. It's Cordonier. Made contact with a Spartan, dropped him to the floor. And that's the second foul committed by the Trojans here in the first half. As Jagger Hutchins, you see there, wearing number 23 in the ballgame for the first time. Jagger Hutchins, another one of those young players that gives solid minutes to the Spartan team. Just a sophomore. Got a lot of playing time last year as a freshman as well on this varsity team. More to the window, can't drop it in. Rebound. Pulled down by Montgomery. He'll push the tempo quickly into the far corner. Thought about the three. Instead, Luke Wyrow has it at the top of the key, drives the left side of the lane, up and under with the scoop shot, hits every bit of the rim, won't drop it. The long rebound comes to the Trojans. Cordania with his back to the basket, working on Hutchins. Turnaround in the lane, reverses and lays it off the window, and Will Cordania gets on the scoreboard for his first two. That was just great footwork by Will there. You got Jag, or Jagger thinking he was going to go one way. He was able to get him leaning and had an easy layup as he turned back towards the rim. Teardrop floater from Addy. No. And a rebound comes down to Finley. Sam Ernst bounces to Bishop. He'll drive. Had a shot swatted by Isaiah Wilson. And here come the Spartans. Moore, cross court pass deflected into that far corner, stolen away by Cordonier. Trojans looking to push it just a bit. Wyrow isolated on this side of the floor. Jump stops at the block in the lane. Leans hit to the deck. No foul for either squad. And Wilson comes back the other way. Or excuse me, Brandon Moore comes back the other way. High shot off the top of the glass. And Ryan Montgomery grabs a rebound and says, let's slow it down. A uh, little bit of a track meet right now up and down the floor. Both teams just giving the basketball away. Not doing a very good job of protecting it when they have been able to get to the rim. We haven't seen him able to finish. Great look from Luke Wyrow, affected on the attempt. And Hutchins will bring it up the floor. 6'7", sophomore, tries to break down his defender. Addy on the right wing. And the Spartans will be a little bit more deliberate this time. Wilson puts it underneath his armpit for just a moment. Let's everybody catch your breath as there's three Spartans awaiting at the scorer's table to check in. Addy at the free throw line. Far corner three for the Spartans off the front iron. Rebound grabbed by Hutchins. Throws it back into play. And the ball's loose. Nearly goes out of bounds off the Trojans. Must be some helium in the ball or something tonight. It's a little extra bouncy. As the Trojans look for their first bucket in a long time with 90 seconds as Montgomery gets to the window. And Jagger one more time, kind of got caught looking, went for that initial fake, and let Montgomery get to the basket without any sort of resistance. 9-7 the score as we approach one minute to play. Hutchins contested three, short. Why round the rebound? Exactly one minute remaining in the first quarter. Why round jumper? Affected, but it lands right into the hands of Cordonier. Give him four first quarter points, and we're tied at nine. You know, and right now it just seems like Lima Senior is missing that one player. 
They're doing a great job with the defense. They, they go and they put the double team on, but then they're not getting back, and that's leaving that person open. So Finley's getting second, second opportunities right at the rim. Addy brings to the near sideline. Double team Hutchins throwing an elbow, and he got called for it. Hutchins, the 6 7 sophomore, tried to create a little bit of space, and it got called immediately. He got a little errant with the elbow. And now we'll get some substitutions into the ball game as Ben Best comes in for Finley as Ryan Montgomery will take a seat. Also Brody Barnes in for the Trojans. That's Jake Bishop. Checks out. So Ben Best will inbound. With 35 seconds to go here in this first quarter. All knotted up at nine on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. See, Lima Senior had a lot of changes that last stoppage as well. Zion Jackson into the game for Lima Senior. Isaiah Wilson came back in. We also see Amari, Amarion Glenn come in. J.B. on Walton in the game for Lima Senior as well. 15 seconds now on the clock as Y. Rao holds it at the high left point. Gets to Bishop right in the center circle with under 10 to go in the quarter. Brody Barnes, the top of the key, hands off to Wyrow. Cordon, you're back to the basket with three. Long three on the way at the horn, off the mark. And we played one quarter of basketball, and we're all knotted up at nine between Finley and Lima Sr. here on WOSN. Timeout tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. All squared away at nine apiece as the second quarter about to begin here on WOSN. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Nate Garlock, bringing you all the action here in this Three Rivers Athletic Conference matchup. And a, almost a bit of like a tale of two halves of a quarter there for Finley where at times discombobulated it was it was frankly sloppy between both squads there for uh, the middle portion of that quarter but then it got a little better there as the, the quarter went on. Yeah Lima Senior really came out hot and they had four different players get points there in that first quarter jumped out to that 9-3 lead but then just couldn't hold on to the basketball we've kind of seen a little bit of a hot potato from both teams but eventually Finley able to kind of gather some in got some easy baskets and we're all knotted up, but still just a 9-9 game, so neither offense really clicking here in the early going. Absolutely, as Jake Bishop gets the inbounds, he'll bring it across the timeline into the near corner to Wyrow. Back to Bishop at the high left point. He'll bounce back towards the midcourt stripe. Give to Brody Barnes. Wyrow working against Marion Glenn. Tries to turn a corner, instead will give to Barnes. Into the far corner to Bishop. He'll bring it to the top of the key. Tightly pressured. Barnes wants more. Wyrow baseline drive instead will pull it back out. And now drive right down Main Street. Throws up a shot, can't get it to go. But Luke Wyrow fouled and will step to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. And a very patient possession that time from Finley, as you see on the Union Bank replay, just trying to drive, going up against a couple of different Spartans. But they did a nice job of not slowing down, constantly moving the basketball, not let Lime Senior get set. Took the first opportunity to drive that they could. As you see him make the first of the two free throws. Didn't get it to go in, but at least getting themselves an opportunity here at the free throw line. So 10-9 to score the first lead since 3-2 for Finley. And the Trojans, and a pretty good free throw shooting team in today's day and age. 80% as a team, and Bishop, or excuse me, Wyrow shoots 82%, so he makes both free throws, and now Sam Ernst will sub back in for Wyrow in for the Finley lineup. So really, kind of best case scenario there for Finley. Take 40 seconds off the clock, get two points out of the deal, and you get another foul for a lima senior. Yeah, you gotta imagine that in between quarters there. You know, Coach Rookie was just talking to him, talking about how, you know, they want possession, they want to eat that time, you know, not, not letting themselves get pulled into the type of game that Lima Senior wants to play, which is that fast pace up and down. You know, even if you have missed shots, it's not a big deal. Get back down quickly, come back. Lots and lots of possessions, lots and lots of shots up. And Finley would like to take a lot of those shots and those opportunities away. Zone defense being employed by the Trojans. Deep three off the mark from Mariatti. And the Trojans have the basketball once more. Spartans look like they'll pick up at half court. 
As Isaiah Wilson awaits Ernst across the timeline. Trojans. At the top of the key, nearly out of his pocket, picked, did. Back the other way for the Spartans. And we're all knotted up at 11 now after the layup from Amari Addy. And what you just saw there is kind of what it is, what it's like to be a freshman playing varsity basketball. Last possession, a bad shot on three, didn't really hit anything, just kind of fell dead, but immediately coming down on defense and making a great defensive play to get his hand in there, pick, get that steal, no foul, and able to finish it on the other end. And you see a foul on the inbound is Finley basically going to make a, a hockey line change here as four new Trojans hit the floor. It's basically the original starting five back out on the floor for the blue and gold. Spartans will inbound. Addy looks to trigger it in, lobs to Glenn at the high left point. Thrown right to Isaiah Wilson. Tries to break down a defender, goes right high off the window and kisses it in. Isaiah Wilson has his first bucket of the evening. It's a nice little floater, a little soft touch, got it to go in. So 13-11 with under six to go here in this first half. Bishop trying to create a little space to work against the Spartan defender. Gets it back on the left wing, looking for Cordonier, bounces it. He'll work against Mosley. Cordonier, post moves, kicks out to Wyrow, tries to reset Cordonier. Instead, Trojans get a wide open three from Wyrow, swirled around, and Mosley the rebound. Anthony Mosley running the floor. Three ball from Wilson, wide open, no. Brandon Moore tried to climb the ladder, get the put back. Went through his hands. And the Trojans will have it once more. Montgomery transition three, splashed in. Late on the rotation, let Ryan Montgomery step into one there. Nice job getting that three-pointer. Lead back to the Trojans at 14-13. Montgomery with five first half points. As I say, Wilson directs the traffic for the Spartans. Bounces to Brandon Moore. Again, rises, fires, short. For Danya the board. Bishop will hand off to Ernst. Trojans with the lead in the basketball. We're going to take some time. Add to it. Fly around with the near corner. Foul committed by Amari Addy. His first, and that's the third for Lima Senior, three for each squad here Jake, in this first half. Jake Bishop just looking for a little separation, trying to cut through the lane. And Amari Addy not wanting to let him get away. A little bit of a grab that time. Spartans will make some substitutions once more. It's Jaquel Cotton and Jagger Hutchins come in. Bishop inbounds, left of his own basket, looking. Again, another deep inbound to Cordonier. And 6'5", Junior. Hands off to Ernst. Bishop gives back to Ernst. Pump faked on the three, trying to post up Cordonier. It does. It's a matchup the Trojans have liked. Fadeaway jumper from the junior is silky smooth. Yeah, he has such a nice turnaround. Doesn't try to rush it. Does a nice job. A good looking shot. Mosley double teamed. More Spartans working around the perimeter. Far corner three from Cotton is good. All predicated on great ball movement. Lima Senior did a great job just moving it around the perimeter. And ended up with a wide open look down in the corner. We're tied at 16, under four to go here in his first half. Ernst across the timeline, foul committed by Wilson. His second. And we'll see if Quincy Simpson sends anybody to the bench, or anybody to the scorer's table, I beg your pardon. He doesn't, Wilson will stay in the game. Ball nearly stolen away by Cotton on the inbound. Bishop has it in the short corner near side. Looking to get a Cordonier one more time. This time working against Mosley. Cordonier, right hand hook shot, and Will Cordonier has eight points. Right now, Lima Senior has no answer for Cordonier, especially in the, in the paint as he's had a nice run here with eight points in the first half. Cotton's three, quickly off the mark. And the Trojans come back the other way. Transition three, splashed home by Sam Ernst. He's got six points. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by the senior high Spartans as Finley has extended their lead to 21-16 here on WOSN.
Tonight's free throw sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 21-16 the score, and not many attempts from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. And uh, really, Finley's got to feel pretty good about the way the second quarter has gone already. 12 points put on the board, and they've got the lead out to five over senior high. Yeah, they've, they've been a lot more confident with the basketball we haven't seen nearly the sloppy play like we did in the first quarter offensive possessions are looking a lot better and then you have you know players like Sam Ernst that are stepping up you know doesn't average a lot of points per game and he already has six here in the game as he stepped into a deep three on that yeah. last possession and he did which led Quincy Simpson the senior Spartan senior high Spartan head coach to take a Metzger financial services timeout so we'll see if Lima senior regrouped during that break in the action Isaiah Wilson gets it across the timeline to Brandon Moore. Cotton at the top of the key. Hutchins all by his lonesome in a corner for three. Off the mark and a rebound grabbed by Ryan Montgomery. Ernst bounces to Wyrow at the left wing. Backdoor pass to Bishop. They'll say out of bounds off of him. Bishop wanted the foul. Might have a case for it. Nonetheless, it goes to Lima Sr. So under three minutes to go here in this first half, 21-16. Finley with the lead, Lima Senior trying to cut into it here. Brandon Moore in the lane, back door to Mosley, high off the window, no, but he got his put back up and in. And Anthony Mosley has four first half points. It was great court vision by Brandon Moore to find a cutting Anthony Mosley. Nice job by Mosley staying with it, you know, not getting down and able to, he actually had a couple of Finley Trojans on his back that time he was able to box out to get that put back. Wyrow tripped as he went to drive. It's back out to Cordonier. Bishop holds it with 2.20 to go in the first half. And a five point lead for the Trojans. Cordonier leading all scorers with eight. Gives back to Bishop. No, excuse me, Ernst. He'll direct the traffic between the circles. Back to Wyrow, got his defender in the air. Cordonia in a lane, kisses it off the window. Wyrow with the nice job on the hesitation. Was able to get a couple of Spartans up in the air, and still when it wasn't there, there was handy Cordonia to finish it up, but Spartans able to answer. Brandon Moore, the finger roll, his first bucket of the evening, cuts the lead to three, 23-20. Brandon Moore, it seems like he's been very active here in the first half. We've been calling his name a lot, but knows just his first basket. And he's somebody that Lima Senior is going to need to get hot on offense. 23-20, Trojans under 90 seconds to play in the half. Bishop bumped. Gives to Wyrow. And he'll give right to Ernst. Jabs. Trying to get a ball screen from Montgomery instead. Gives to Wyrow at the left wing. Into the lane, bounces to Cordonier, quickly double teamed, can't slap it off the backboard and down Mosley the board with one minute remaining here in this first quarter, first half. Brandon Moore tried to do everything himself, couldn't get the bucket. Mosley the offensive rebound, Hutchins for three, off the heel. Mosley climbs the board, ooh. Mosley went over the top of Wyrow. Wyrow has called for the foul, basically looked at the ref and said, I got to land it on. How do I get the foul? You see the Union Bank replay here. Ooh, luckily, both those guys all right. <laughs> you see my route, give him the hands up. Like, how in the world did you just call me for a foul when I got somebody jumping over the top of me? My route, not really sure what else he could have done in that possession. But. Spartans retain possession. They inbound to Mosley on the right wing. He'll hand right back off to Wilson. Hutchins. Pump fakes, resets for the three. No, why row the board? Hutchins, a typically good three-point shooter, just been a little off tonight. we seen all of his three-point shots come up just a little short. 30 seconds to go in the half. Wouldn't be surprised to see Finley hold for the final shot here as why row will hold it right of the center circle. Nursing a three-point lead. Bishop will, or excuse me, Ernst will just hold it inside the center circle and bounce to Bishop with 10. He'll turn and look at Jim Rookie for more instructions. He'll turn the corner, go right down Main Street, 
Slap it off the window. Mosley the board with two. Has to let it fly for three. Anthony Mosley's first three-point attempt of the season off the mark. And we go to the halftime break. Finley with a three-point advantage over Lima Senior 23-20 here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. The Web Insurance Agency scoreboard says 23-20, Findlay with the advantage over Lima Senior as the third quarter about to get underway. And Nate, what did Jim Rookie, the Findlay head coach, say to his squad there at the halftime break? What was the, mo the most pressing thing that they need to fix or what was the encouraging message? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's kind of a – a much different second quarter than we did we saw out of the first quarter. He, I think he has to be a lot happier with the ball control and what they're getting out of their possessions. We saw a lot longer sustained possessions. They showed a lot more patience, and that led to them having better looks at the basket, and, and that's why they were able to jump out to that lead. You know, Lima Senior, though, you know, they're steady. They can come back quick. You know, you see, you think they're down. You think, you know, Finley pulls away. They can score so quickly. And I think the big message for Lima Seniors is they just have to take care of the basketball better. You know, I think sometimes they – they're, they are so fast as a team and they play so quick. Sometimes that quickness can be at a disadvantage as they get going too fast. They got to slow down a little bit, and that's going to be a good start here as you see Jaquil Cotton come out and he makes his first basket. He's got seven points now and makes the first basket long. Outlet pass to Cordonier. Gets it, creates a little space up and under. Can't hit the bucket, but Will Cordonier will go to the least famous recipe free throw line early here in this third quarter. And they got to come up with some sort of answer for Will. Leads all scorers with 10 points, and you saw trying to pick up right where he left off, getting underneath, and now he has a chance from the free throw line. So Will Cordon, you see there on the Union Bank instant replay, creating a little bit of space. 68% free throw shooter, drops in the first at the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. 6'5", Jr., as Nate mentioned, leading all scorers tonight, now with 11. Missed the second, but the offensive rebound by Montgomery. It's back out to Ernst in the near corner. Cordonier pump fakes on to three. Gives back to Ernst. He'll back back out near the mid-court stripe. Throw left to Bishop. Wyrow in that far corner with his head down. Brings it to the top of the key and bounces to Bishop for a three. Bang! Finley's just had some timely three-pointers tonight. Seen Sam Ernst have a couple, and now Jake Bishop his turn as he comes up with a big one to extend this lead out to five. First basket of the night for Bishop, the leading scorer for Finley, averages 20.3 a night. As Cotton rises and fires for three, left it short. Rebound, grabbed by a pair of Trojans. They both dropped it at the same time, nearly thrown back into play. Great hustle there by Anthony Mosley. But unfortunately, it goes out of bounds off of him and to the Trojans. You know, we were talking about, you know, what could Coach Rookie be talking to his team about there at halftime? And you know, we have the lead, and we have yet to get going on offense with our best offensive weapon. We just keep doing what we're doing. Eventually, things are going to start to fall, and you saw Jake become up with that big three-pointer. Cornonier's three-pointer off the mark as Mosley hits the deck on the board. That'll be the first foul committed by the Trojans. Goes against Ryan Montgomery. 27-22. Finley with a lead on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard as Brandon Moore will kiss it back to Amari Addy. 5'11 freshman brings it up the floor. Angles to the near sideline, double teamed as he does. That's stolen away by Wyrow. Has to pick it up in transition. Give to Montgomery, bullet pass to Cordonier. Back out to Wyrow. Trojans wisely revert to taking their time. Bounces. Wyrow, top of the key, bounces to Bishop. Looking for space to Ernst. Six minutes to go, backdoor pass. Looked like it was set up. Bishop, a deep, or excuse me, Ernst the deep three off the mark. Rebound comes to Amari on Glenn. Glenn tries to go coast to coast, swatted though by Cordonier. Pass poked out of bounds by Addy. He'll stay with the Trojans with that five-point lead. So Glenn on that last possession, just trying to run the floor. I think he thought he might come up with some contact, but Cardarnier does a great job of not getting into the body, just getting that clean block. 
But fast hands on this other side almost led to a turnover. So Finley going to have to go all the way back and, and start again. Montgomery a little frustrated there on the inbounds pass, trying to direct people towards him. They all ended up running away from him. And now the Trojans have to get it across the timeline and do. Bishop on the left wing, guarded by Glenn. Gives to Montgomery. Bounce pass nearly stolen away by Brandon Moore. Wyrow instead tries to get it down low, and he's called for the charge. Yeah, just got a little up too much into the air that time. Kind of got caught in no man's lane. Didn't really have yeah. any other choice. See, all that momentum had him moving forward. You see on the Union Bank instant replay, got up in the air, and as he did, tried to decide, oh, I'm going to get rid of this instead, and went right through the chest of Anthony Mosley. The six foot four senior hit the deck. Make sure everybody's all right here. Give everybody just a hot second. Brandon Moore will come out of the ball game. Hutchins back in for senior high. Mariotti slowly walks the ball up the, to, up the floor. Bounces to Hutchins. Back to Addy on the right way. Surveys. Cotton rises and fires. Foot on the line. Long two gives him nine points. Cotton. Feeling it here to start the second half. Bishop picks up the dribble in the backcourt, has to get rid of it. Wyrow contested three from the corner is good. Great concentration by Wyrow down in that corner. He had a body flying right at him. He was able to get that shot up confidently. Big three pointer for Finley. Addy works to the top of the key. Gives to Hutchins, pump fakes, puts it on the deck, jump stops. Hutchins gets to the window, can't hit. Mosley, the offensive rebound, his put back. No, Cordon, you're the board for Finlay. You see Mosley wanting the whistle that time, but Wyrow doing a great job on the box out, just staying low, just pushing him back. Not a foul, just getting good position down low. Bishop holds it left of the center circle. So we approach four minutes to play here in this third quarter and a six-point lead for the Trojans. Cordon, you're... Gives to Ernst, tightly guarded by Addy. Won't give him an inch. And he'll bounce, give backdoor pass to Wyrow. Wanted to foul, somehow gets it. Back to Bishop, quick three, no. Montgomery, the offensive rebound, put back is up and good. Now we talked about uh, Lima Senior and their prowess on the offensive. Offensive boards giving themselves second, third opportunities. But it has been Finley tonight that has been doing a number down low, giving themselves extra opportunity. And I'm not even sure how Finley was able to keep that last possession alive. But when it was all said and done, Montgomery down low extends that lead for Finley. But, man, how they stayed on top of that, kept that ball going, and man, kept that possession alive was incredible. Well, and it would have been easy for Wyrow to get frustrated that he didn't get the foul because I think he got hammered, but he got hit to the deck. And instead of, you know, complaining about it, kept dribbling the basketball, and it led to a bucket there for the Trojans. Mosley tries to go back door to Brandon Moore. Miscommunication goes out of bounds off the of Spartans, and it'll go to Finley with an eight-point lead. I believe this is the largest lead that Finley has had of the game as they have an opportunity here on this position to make it a double-digit lead. But every time it looks like Finley may start to have a run and kind of open this lead up, Lima Seniors always had an answer and pulled within close, but they're going to have to come up with a big defensive stand here. Ernst to the backcourt, tightly guarded by Addy. Might be a struggle for Ernst to get across the timeline in under 10. Crosses. Hands off to Brody Barnes, who just checked in. Bounces back to Jake Bishop. It's a high ball screen from Montgomery. Double teamed after he leaves the screen. Three minutes to go here in his third quarter. Cordonier gives to Ernst. Back to Cordonier. Working against Hutchins. Double teamed. Montgomery thought about the three for a moment. Instead puts it on the deck. Bounces wide, open for Barnes for three. No, and the rebound to Brandon Moore. The lob to Glenn. Hutchins surveys the defense, crosses over. Gives back to Addy as senior high slows it down. Isaiah Wilson on the right wing. Patiently directs traffic. Gets to Hutchins at the top of the key. Guarded by Cordonier, throws left to Addy. Addy. Puts it on the deck and gives to Moore. Marion Glenn on the right side, 215 and a foul. No, a timeout. Metzger Financial Services timeout called as Lima Sr. 
will step aside, trailing by 8-32-24 here in the third on WOSN. Instant replays tonight brought to you by Union Bank. Union Bank is committed to you. 32-24, Finley with the lead. Lima Senior, the basketball, out of the timeout. And Spartans just a little disjointed kind of getting into this half-court set here here in this third quarter, Nate. Yeah, that was one of the longest offensive possessions that we've seen. They, they typically like to move a lot faster than that. I think that's why Coach Q wanted to take that timeout just to talk about it. He saw his team not quite sure where to go with it, not really moving quite as crisp to get open. So try to get the reset here and see if they can't get the offense going as they don't want Finley to pull any farther away. Amari Addy right in the center circle. Looks to Quincy Simpson for more instructions. A little token pressure applied by Brody Barnes. Looks like the Trojans come out of the timeout in a 2-3 zone. Addy thought about the corner three. Bounces back to Wilson at the high left point. You can see Finley's gone to that 2-3 zone, <laughs> trying to keep everything on the outside as Lima Senior tonight has only made two three-point shots. Just want to take away those open lanes. They want to try to keep Lima Senior from driving. You can hear Quincy Simpson shout overload. Spartans wanting it. A couple of guys to one side of the floor as Hutchins gets it, gives back. Brandon Moore throws up a shot from the high post, couldn't get it to go. Got his own rebound, though. Nearly got his own rebound one more time after the miss. Instead, it ends up in the hands of the Trojans. Quarter three, Cordonier, bad. I think Cordonier got lucky on that on the defensive side of things as he was leaning. Didn't get called for that foul. Does a nice job of getting back, getting his feet set. And a big three-point shot for Finley as they're now up double digits. And now the ball stolen away by Jake Bishop. 11-point lead for the Trojans. So we're under a minute to go here in this third quarter. Finley has the basketball. Ernst gives up to Bishop, tightly guarded by Amarion Glenn. Bishop will walk it back out. Tries to turn the corner. Picks up the dribble, has to get rid of it. Bounces to Barnes with under 30. Nearly stolen away by Glenn. Ball's loose. Throws it back into play. They'll say he stepped out of bounds with the basketball. And it remains with the Trojans, but with 23.3. So Ryan Montgomery will inbound. Uh, Lima Senior will make a substitution. JV on Walton, a six foot four junior, comes in for Jacker Hutchins. 23.3. Bishop, patient in the backcourt, knows he's got 10 seconds to get it across. Does. Tries to hand off to Ernst. Puts it on the deck with seven. Bounces to Cordonier, to Bishop. Deep three at the horn, left it short. Long rebound, goes to Walton in the far corner, and we played three quarters. 35-24. Finley with the advantage over Lima Senior here on WOSN. Timeout tonight brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you claim your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Fourth quarter about to get underway. Just four points scored by Senior High there in that fourth quarter. Outscored 12 to four. And that leads to the Finley large lead here as we begin the fourth quarter, Nate. Yeah, we talked about in the, you know, in the pregame how Lima Senior needed to find the offense and they needed to find consistent offense and they have just struggled all night long. Not typical, you know, at, from the Lima Senior teams that we're used to seeing, but a very young team this year as Coach Simpson has to work through a lot of things and they have off nights, you know, but Garrett, this is a big quarter for Lima Senior. They have a tough stretch over the next uh, little over a week as you see Montgomery get the storing started here in the fourth. But they play four games in five nights. They have tonight, they got Ottawa Glendorf tomorrow night. They go to flying for the, uh, flying to the hoop on Monday down in Dayton. And then Tuesday, Crosstown shootout against LCC. Yeah. And then you go to look into next week and never know the rivalry. Shawnee is on the horizon. They have all these tough games coming up. And, you know, they'd love to obviously get, get that stretch started off with a win. 
But, you know, also you're going to think about the energy that it's going to come and, and what they're going to look and feel like come a week from tonight. A foul committed by Findlay there. As you mentioned, six games in eight days for senior high upcoming. And uh, not against, you know, chump opponents or anything. Ottawa Glendorf's going to come here tomorrow night, one of the best teams in the state in Division Three. They'll play live to Central Catholic on Tuesday, like you mentioned. Got uh, another emotionally charged game against Shawnee next week. They're, and at this point, you're down 13. You're going to expend a lot of energy trying to just fight back in this one. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, you got to start to wonder whether uh, any hole is too big to try to climb out of or anything like that. But we know Lima Senior is not going to give up here as Brandon Moore inbounds to Mosley. Gives it right back to Moore. Gives to Hutchins for three. Left it short, but the offensive rebound by Addy. Went up and down. Travel is the, uh, the call. As he got in the air and realized that the six foot five Will Cordon here was going to have an attempt to block the shot from the 5'11 freshman and thought better of it. It's a good idea. It was, was, was the correct decision, except he had already left his feet. And a turnover goes to the Trojans. Yeah, he tried to take it out of three different Trojan defenders and just didn't have the space he thought he did. But unfortunately, he had already left his feet. Not much he could do at that point. Ball stolen away. Mosley poked it away. He'll get the outlet pass and lays it up and in. Mosley averages 13. That's just his sixth point. Spartans would like to play through him here in his fourth quarter and get him going. Ernst in the backcourt. Gives to Bishop. Bishop in the lane, leans, stripped, fouled, and he'll go to the least famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, Moore did a nice job all the way in, but Bishop doing a better job moving his feet, just kind of got into Moore's body that time. Brandon Moore didn't have much of a choice as he reached out. And he was going to pick up that foul, especially right in front of the official. Jake Bishop, a 90% free throw shooter. Averages 20.3. Is it just three so far here tonight? Make it four. 38-26. You got to think, too, if you told Coach Q, Okay, going into the fourth quarter, Jake Bishop only going to have four points. He'd been like, yep, I, I think we're going to be in, sitting pretty good then. Yeah. going to like where we're at. But even with just those four points, they still find themselves down 12. Will Coronan, your average is 10, has 14 tonight here for the Finley Trojans. Now Lima Senior gets to work offensively as Mosley has it at the top of the key. Gives to Hutchins, tries to get it to Moore. In the short corner, working against Brody Barnes, double teamed to Addy. Hutchins on the left wing. Back to Addy. Cotton works it around the perimeter to Mosley. Bullet pass to Hutchins. Puts it on the deck, stripped. And the ball ends up with Jake Bishop. At the left wing is the senior. Drives, scoop shot, no. Hutchins the board. Spartans want to run. Addy back to Hutchins, transition three. Couldn't hit it. Cordon near the board, and he's fouled. You can see Jagger Hutchins just very frustrated right now. Just cannot seem to quite find that touch. Everything seems just a little short right now. And, you, know, you can see he's trying to work through it, trying to figure it out. But right now, just a struggle to find that shot. Hutchins a 30% three-point shooter. Hasn't hit one tonight. Still scoreless. Finley will inbound, leading by 12, 38-26. As Cordonier gives to Bishop in the backcourt. Neither team anywhere close to their season averages. Finley averages 56 points per contest. Lima Senior, 63 as Bishop goes back door. Got the hoop and the foul. Bishop does a great job with body control once he got into the air. Kind of got himself turned because he knew that contact was coming, but was able to protect the ball so he could finish that shot. Let's take a look at the Union Bank instant replay. He turned the corner and got to the window. Got fouled. And now the 90% free throw shooter will come to the line. Got that one as well. Bishop now with seven points. And it's a 15-point lead for Finley. 
Hutchins between the circles. Cotton will rise and fire for three. Off the heel of the rim. Montgomery the board, double teamed. Jump ball? Yes, jump ball. Possession arrow points to senior high. So Isaiah Wilson will inbound. Trailing by 15 with 4.47 to go. Looking. Gets it into Mosley. Mosley double teamed, lost it. And it ends up in the hands of Montgomery. Ernst tightly guarded by Wilson. Tries to hand off, nearly stolen away by Cotton. That's his second foul. Fifth committed by Lima Senior here in his second half. Zion Jackson goes to the scorer's table to sub in for Lima Senior. So Cotton was in good position that time as he was trying to get to that basketball, but it's a little bit too much contact. He's going to take a seat, as does Jagger Hutchins. It's Zion Jackson, as you mentioned, into the game wide open. Easy. Inbound there to Bishop, couldn't connect. Spartans lucky to keep him scoreless there. As a three from Wilson off the mark. Mosley the board, gives it right back to him for another attempt. Can't splash that one in. And Montgomery grabs the rebound. 41-26 approaching the midway point here with this fourth quarter. As the Trojans trying to play a little bit of keep away here. Montgomery has it. He'll approach the basket, give to Bishop. Working against Glenn. He'll bring it back all the way out to the midcourt circle. Trying to get the cross-court pass, it's stolen away by the Spartans. Don't have the numbers, Mosley in the lane, drops it in. Saw Ernst that time, kind of in self-preservation mode as Mosley was coming down with a full set of steam, head of steam, excuse me. Thought he was going to take that charge, decided at the last minute to bail out, and it was probably a good decision. And those business decisions they talk about. Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Finley as they lead by 13 here in the fourth quarter on WOSN. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. 41-28, Finley the lead, and they called the timeout there, and really just a chance to regroup. Trojans don't play a whole lot of guys. Um, just seven guys have gotten in a game tonight for the Trojans, and uh, just one of those full timeouts there to talk things over with a 13-point lead over, over one of your rivals. Yeah, and I think it was more too, you know, when you look at that last offensive possession from Finley, they did a nice job getting spread out. They had lots of room, but then they sped up. You saw that they tried to force a long pass across the court, ends up getting taken away, and I'm sure Coach Rookie just wanted to make sure, hey, we don't want to do that, protect the ball, the clock is on our side, don't force anything. And I'm sure that that was just kind of reiterated there in that timeout. Montgomery looks to inbound. The Bishop in the backcourt. Working against Wilson. Double teamed. Got it to Wyrow. He'll pull it back out with three and a half. Picked up the dribble, guarded by Cotton. Montgomery hands off to Bishop. He's gotten to a bad spot. Tries to pass out of it, does. Montgomery, Wyrow in the lane. Left it short. Zion Jackson aboard. Wyrow called for his fifth foul. And Wyrow that time just trying to reach back to grab it. Zion Jackson does a nice job of getting his hands on that one, being in good position to pick up that foul. So Wyrow will watch the rest of this ball game, as you see there on the Union Bank instant replay. Brody Barnes comes in, a 5'10 junior. A 3'10 to go. Isaiah Wilson. 5'10 sophomore. Lobs it into Addy. And now he'll grab it as it nearly got to the midcourt strike before they took any time. Wilson. Hutchins. Easy bucket there for his first basket of the night. Quick Metzger Financial Services timeout. Called there by Lima Sr. 41-30 the score with three, just over three minutes to go in tonight's ball game. When we mentioned, Nate, that Schedule doesn't get any easier for senior high. Six games in eight days. 
and they're five and three on the season. Conceivably looking like it's gonna drop to five and four tonight. Otto Glandorf comes in tomorrow, gonna fly into the hoop, and Spartans gonna learn a lot about themselves over the course of the next week. Yeah, they are. And, and when you look at it, and for Finley as well, having, you know, a tough schedule ahead, you know, those games up in Toledo against St. John's Whitmer and Central Catholic, those are not gonna be an easy road for them. And, you know, but, you know, we were talking about uh, the Lima senior schedules. You take a look there. Springboro is their opponent in the Flying to the Hoop Classic. But you're right. Lima senior is going to find out a lot about themselves as Coach Simpson, he builds his schedule this way intentionally. When you're in January and, you know, you're starting to come towards the middle point of that season and you got to start really looking towards February and, and tournament draws and, and getting ready for what will be a grind, you know, that's what he wants his team to, to know. You know, you have to play tough games all the time, and you're not going to have a lot of breaks in between. And, you know, this team's going to show their medal here over the next eight days as they got a lot of basketball to play. Bishop now will put it on the deck. Double team gets rid of it to Montgomery. It's a three on two. Montgomery assertive, gets the hoop. He's got 11 points. Yeah, that time Montgomery didn't want to worry about passing it around, just decided to finish it himself. Nearly dropped in by Wilson. Put back attempt from Moore, fouled, and Brandon Moore will go to the charity stripe. Looks like they think they got, uh, they got that one on number four. So Brody that's Barnes. Gonna be on Barnes as he had came in for y -Row, but Initially, the way that Montgomery had reacted, I think he thought that might, one might go on him. It's Moore. You saw there on the Union Bank instant replay, fouled on the putback attempt. So Moore's got three points now as he'll step back to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line, a 48% free throw shooter. And if there's one thing Lima Senior can point to that they've got to improve on in the second half of the season, it's free throw shooting as Moore makes the second, just 58% as a team. Yeah, and I, did I miss something in my scorebook? Do you have it? Is that their first trip to the free throw line tonight? Uh, in my scorebook, which is very unofficial <laughs> scorebook, but I have that as their first free throw of the night that they have that shot. Might be. So with 2.24 left to go in the fourth quarter, you know, Lima Senior hasn't even made a, a trip to the free throw line. And, you know, that's not going to be a stat they're very happy to see either. Yeah, Brandon Moore. Yeah, looks like that might be the, fir the first free throw attempts of the evening for Lima Senior. Yeah. And for a team that attacks the basket like they do and they love to get up and down the floor, that's, that's just, that that's a crazy stat to look at and to see. That's why, I, you know, I, I doubted it when I looked through on the scorebook here because that's just not something you, you would expect to see out of this team. Cordon, you're now with 16 points after that easy layup. Wilson. To Zion Jackson kicks back into Amarion Glenn. Brandon Moore at the top of the key. Addy back to the basket, jump stops at the right block, leans, can't hit. Montgomery the board, and he's fouled on the. Excuse me, comes down to the floor. Montgomery trying to get things going down low, and now he's going to get a chance from now on. Finley going to be shooting free throws, as that is the 17th foul for Lima Sr. Just going to continue to get a little bit harder and harder as we are under two minutes left to play. And Lima Senior's not going to quit. It's not, a, it's not impossible to come back, but, man, they're going to have to make something happen here quickly. Ryan Montgomery, a six foot three sophomore, one of the highly, highest touted quarterbacks in his class. If you are a team in the, a fan of a team in the Big Ten, ACC, SEC, Pac-12, Big 12, there's a chance, a good chance that that school is offered Ryan Montgomery a scholarship as he misses the free throw attempt. Older brother Luke Montgomery, early enrolled at Ohio State as an offensive lineman. As the Spartans go to the window, Isaiah Wilson fouled. And he'll go to the least famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, that time, sometimes you just got to let him go through. Not a smart play that time as they got in, got a lot of that contact. And, you know, the one thing that... Lima Senior wants to do is stop this clock. If they can score some points without it running, that helps them tremendously. Wilson, 63% free throw shooter. Got the first. He's got three points now on the evening as the lead trims to 12 with just over 90 seconds to play on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. 
Zion Jackson comes back in the ball game. Wearing number 10 for Lima Senior. Wilson's second free throw attempt is good as well. Montgomery, baseball pass, long baseball pass to Bishop. He'll have to throw it in, got in the air. When you get in the air and your options are run over a cheerleader, run into this brick wall, he held on to it, and they call a timeout. Yeah, that was a great heads-up play by Bishop that time. As he got into the air, he knew he wasn't going to get rid of it. He looked right at the official to call that timeout to keep the possession. So the Metzger Financial Services timeout call will step aside as well here in the fourth quarter on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. 45-34. Out of the Metzger Financial Services timeout. Finley will have the basketball. Just over 90 seconds to play in tonight's ball game. Trojans trying to hang on to a Three Rivers Athletic Conference victory. They're five and one on the track. Lima Senior three and three in conference play. The inbound to Bishop, easy bucket there for the senior. Nice inbound play by Finley that time. Jake Bishop with the easy, easy basket as another turnover for Lima Senior. Laying it in the hands of Bishop. You mentioned the con conference victory for Finley. This is their first of four straight conference games. So this will be a, a great way to start that run. More of the steal, missed it. Got the offensive rebound, though, did the Spartans as Amarion Glenn drops one in. And a Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Quincy Simpson. Trailing by 11 with just over a minute to go. Marion Glenn now with five points on the evening. As you get a great look there at the senior high huddle, is Quincy Simpson, even though things haven't gone according to plan, you still see him coaching up those, those Spartans as you take a look at what else is upcoming this weekend here on WOSN. Get some WBL, some MAC action on the hardwood, and then a great basketball game tomorrow between OG and Lima Senior, and then some non-conference rivalries between Crestview and Wayne Trace, and then next week, Crestview and Van Wert and girls hoops, and then the Crosstown Shootout, the Lima Cup between Lima Senior High School and LCC. You'll see it here next week, as well as other games here on the schedule. It's a 47-36 the score. Trojans with the lead. And they'll have the basketball out of the timeout. Spartans still with two time, both squads actually with two timeouts still remaining. Montgomery, the 6'3 sophomore, will inbound. Looking, another baseball pass into Bishop to the window. No. Barnes trying to get the offensive rebound. Fordonier did. Gives back out to Bishop with one minute remaining. What an asset to have when you have one of the top high school quarterback prospects in the country, and he, you can go ahead and trigger the out-of-bounds from him to go cross court. He just dropped it right into the bread basket of Bishop there running down the court. So that'll send Sam Ernst to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Ernst has scored six points so far here tonight. Senior high gets some new Spartans on the floor. Marion Glenn looks like he'll take a seat for the final time, as did Jagger Hutchins. Is Sincere Sherrell's Horson in the game for uh, Lima Senior. First free throw attempt from Ernst. Hits every bit of the rim, drops out. Cotton the board. Wilson quickly up the floor to Cotton. 6'5", sophomore, puts it up for three. No. Offensive rebound, but they throw it right to Sam Ernst. And the Trojans have to get it across the timeline, but I'm not sure that Lima Senior is going to foul this time. With 35 seconds remaining, and an 11-point lead for Finley. They'll still tightly guard the Trojans. Montgomery bounces to Cordon. Your thought about the three, thought wiser of it. And will bounce inside the center circle. And Finley will dribble out to final 15 seconds, or attempt to dribble out, I should say, the final 15 seconds. And the Trojans come into senior high and grab a Three Rivers Athletic Conference victory tonight. 47-36, the final score. 
as the final buzzer sounds. And Finley moves to 10-3 on the season and 6-1 and in the track. Lima Senior drops to 5-4. and four. We'll step aside, come back and put a bow on this one. Finley victorious here on WOSN. Back here at Lima Senior, wrapping up a 47-36 victory for the Finley Trojans over the Senior High Spartans. I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Finley head coach Jim Rookie. And coach, you told us that you wanted to keep the Spartans in front of you and rebound, and it certainly looks like you accomplished that tonight. Yeah, I, I think overall we did a pretty good job. Uh, you know, they, they're, they're pretty darn fast, and they got to the rim a few times. Uh, got, some, got some second chance opportunities, but, but we've had nights against them where they, they rebound almost every miss. And uh, tonight we, you know, I thought we did a really good job of gang rebounding and, and not allowing them to get those set, uh, easy putbacks. You got a nice contribution tonight from Will Cordon here. How did you assess his play and, and how important was he in, in the victory just with the size and the rebounding? Well, he's been doing a great job. He's getting better and better. He's, he's good one-on-one -on -one in the post. Uh, I thought Ryan Montgomery played really well. He's been playing really well, leads our team in rebounding and assists, just hasn't scored. And tonight he did. Sam Ernst, who's one of our better shooters, hasn't been making shots like he's capable and hit two big ones early. So we've gotten, we're, we're you know, if we can continue to get contributions from our eight guys, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep getting better. Well, congratulations on the victory. Appreciate you uh, giving us some time here after the game, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. That's Finley head coach Jim Rookie joining us here as we wrap up our broadcast, and we bring in Nate Garlock once more. And, Nate, when you take a look at just the um, the – Stolly Hustle Award options tonight. There were several guys that stood out, but I think we're in agreement on who our winner is. Yeah, absolutely. Will Cordonier did a tremendous job tonight. You talked about it with Coach, just the contribution that he had um, on both sides of the floor, but really offensively did a nice job on the inside, really kind of neutralized that athleticism from Lima Senior down low, and I think that really was a catalyst to that victory tonight. Yeah, Will Cordonier scores 16 points in the victory tonight to lead all scorers as the Finley Trojans take down Lima Senior 47-36. to for our entire WOSN crew and Nate Garlock, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long from senior high. The final score, the final time, Finley wins 47-36 over Lima Senior here on WOSN.